Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Crafty Watermelons, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your own earrings out of your own artwork and drawings. So you're going to need several supplies for this, but first I'm going to show you an example of what they'll look like when you're done. Okay, so here is a quick example of what they look like. These two, there's a glare on them because they're um, tape, so they don't like fall apart. Um, these two are just two girls, and I also made some other ones that were popsicles, but I've already packaged them up. Um, these are dangle earrings. I'm going to be showing you how to make stud earrings today, but if you want to make dangle earrings, you're going to poke a hole in the top and attach two jump rings to an earring hook. And you are going to need earring hooks. I got mine from Michael's, and they were like $2 a pack, but you also have to buy a pack of backs. So you can buy stud earring hooks, you can buy dangle earring hooks and you can buy the bags. So you have to buy all of those if you want to make both types of earrings, but it's like $4 if you just want to make one kind. So, not expensive and it comes with like 40 pairs of earrings or something. I actually can't show you what these look like on because I don't have my ears pierced. Um, I'm making them to sell and to send to pen pals. I'm also going to do another tutorial on how to make clay ones. Um, I can give you an example of those. Like for example, here are some alien ones that I've made. And I'm going to do a tutorial on these if you guys want them. These are just the stud version. So you can buy these actually on my Instagram via PayPal and there are some other things like patches listed in my Etsy shop. But I'm going to do a big Etsy announcement towards the end of the month. So without further ado and me talking, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is get a piece of paper that's suitable for the material you're using. I'm using markers, so I'm using this mixed media paper. You could also use watercolors or acrylic paint or whatever materials you like, colored pencil. But just make sure that your paper is suitable for the materials you're using. And now I'm just going to speed this up and do a little time lapse of me drawing the earrings, outlining them in black pen, and then coloring them. I'm also going to cut them out, and then I'll come back and tell you about the next step. Now that we have our two little cotton candies drawn, um, as you saw I smeared the pen a little bit, but it's okay after I colored them. I didn't bother starting over. You're going to need some scrapbook paper, and I just have this little pad that I actually got free somewhere. It's really tiny. And they're like baby themed, but since we're only using a little bit, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to use this piece right here. And I'm going to take some clear tape. You can use packing tape if you have like a bigger design and you don't want a seam of tape on it, if that makes any sense. But you're just going to take a little piece of tape and careful not to get like a fingerprint in the center of it and stick it on one of your stickers. It doesn't matter if the sticker's centered or anything. I'm going to tape it there and then I'm going to fold it over the back so it covers the whole back of the sticker as well. Or the earring. I keep saying stickers but they're earrings. I'm going to put a little bit more on the back so that it's more protected. And now, oops, I'm going to do the same thing with the other one, and then I'm going to cut these out. Okay, once you're done cutting them out, they should look something like this. I've just got two little tiny snow, or not snow cones, candy, cotton candies here. <laughs> and if you don't want to use a border and you're not using markers, 
go ahead, but markers and paint go through the back of the paper, so you're going to want to add a backing. Um, it's better if you have two-sided paper, actually, but I didn't. And you could also just use construction paper or even just plain white paper if you want. It doesn't have to be scrapbook paper. Now I'm going to show you how to make them into earrings. Okay, now to make them into earrings, you're going to need some earring supplies, I guess. And you're also going to need to grab some glue, but we can get to that in a second. So if you're going to make dangle earrings, you're going to use a pin, and I'm not going to do this because I'm making stud earrings, but you're going to poke two holes in the top, add two jump rings, and then add on your dangle earring hook. And that way, if you add the two jump rings, they'll be facing the correct way and not facing sideways, unless you want them to face sideways. But Okay, I'm going to be using these stud earrings, so what I'm going to do is actually just glue these on the front of the stud earrings and then add the earring back to the back just so it doesn't get lost. And that's what these two little things are here. So the glue I'm going to be using is E6000 glue, which is um, a type of like, I think it's originally jewelry glue. I'm not really sure. I also don't know where I put mine. But I'm going to grab that and then glue them together. So with this glue, it is a jewelry glue, which means it's very strong, but it also tends to have a lot of fumes. So um, I'm just going to score a tiny bit onto this little piece of tin foil, and this is super sticky, so try not to get it on your hands like you just did, or like I just did. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal or anything. But now you're going to take your little stud, dip it in here, and of course if you're making dangle earrings, you don't have to do this. And then you're just going to stick it on the back of your drawing. And make sure they're in a roughly the same spot on both drawings. The good thing about E6000 glue is it is kind of super glue, but it's a slower drying super glue. Um, so you have like four or five minutes to use the glue that you've squirted out. If you're making a lot at once, you might need to squirt out a little bit and then add more. But, okay. Over here, I'm going to set these two earrings. And then once they're dry, I'm going to stick these two backs on them and put them on a card. So. That is basically how you do this, and just let them dry for like 10 minutes or so, so you're sure they're not going to come off, and they should never break or anything, like, that glue is super strong. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and you can check out my Instagram, my art Instagram is at Enchanted Quill, and I will leave that in the description box below. I also have my personal Instagram, which is always down there, as well as my Twitter and everything else, so if you'd like to check that out, you can do that by looking down below. And let me know if you have any particular styles of earrings you would like tutorials for in the future made out of clay, because that's my next video. So I will see you next time. Bye!